Now, when it comes to the sales and marketing videos, there's a typical engagement graphs. And I've studied this, I've done it, I've seen my customers do it over and over again. And it looks like this, that kind of shows you the segments that are important in a video and kind of how it's structured. So if you look at this graph here, this is how it's kind of designed. This is an engagement graph. What that means is if the start of the video is over here, let's say you have a five minutes or, well, you don't want to make it more realistic, three minute video here is at the end of it. 100% of audience is over here, 0% of audience. Pretty much every single video that I've ever seen kind of looks like this. Always, this graph is statistically the same. Every single report I ever looked like, every single of my stuff, it's always been the same. Which means if you have about a two to three minute video, you're gonna have a drop off rate. So really what you're doing is you're trying to get majority of the content or the majority of the people in this kind of area here, because you know at the end of it, at the tail end, you're gonna lose a lot of people. Now granted, there's a, a cool part is here, let's say you have, you know, you start with 100 audience views over here and you get the 10 people over here that finish it to the end. Well, guess what? Those 10 people are very engaged in your content. Now, hopefully they're not your mom, your dad, your girlfriend, or your people that you work with. <laughs> we'll talk about that as well. But if you get those 10 people to the end and they go for it, that means they're very engaged and you're actually connected with them. So it's not a bad thing to do that. But here's what you have to realize and when it comes to structuring the content, and this is kind of important in terms of how you think about delivering a piece of video communication. Okay, so let me just erase this and I'm gonna go back to how we structure it. So when I think about video content for the internet, I always keep this in mind. I know people will bail. Look, it's a fact. People will, we do it all the time, right? I mean, every time you look at a video, you're like, man, oh, don't like it, right? It's very, very quick. We have an attention span of a goldfish, which is actually about eight seconds. And I'll show you where that fits in. Okay, so here we got it. Here's a, a standard kind of a linear video, right? Two minute mark is over here. Start is over here. We have 60 seconds over here. We know the engagement rate, which means past kind of this point over here, we're gonna lose quite a bit of the audience. Here's where the most important thing is that the content alignment, and you'll see this a lot of YouTubers who are really good at it, do it. They literally get your attention here right at the beginning within the very first 10 seconds. And here's why, is they'll specifically tell you, hi, welcome to this video. Here's tips that you're gonna learn how to keep people engaged in a two minute video. We're gonna start right now. And so that right there tells my little brain in the first 10 seconds that, hey, am I interested in this topic, right? If I am, I will choose to continue. And I also know that when I clicked on the title and when I clicked on the little thumbnail, that now you're actually telling me the truth, right? So we're not baiting and switching, right? If you clicked on the title that says, here's how the fastest way to clean your car in 10 minutes, and then I start talking about selling you a cleaning product, well, you're gonna be ticked off, right? So this is the whole thing when we have a title and we have a click to play image, we wanna make sure that first 10 seconds, you're gonna tell them exactly what you're gonna learn about that or what you the content you're gonna deliver. And this is a lot of business video makes a huge mistake because they start putting in these big fancy logos and they start talking about their company and guess what happens to the rate of engagement while well, it goes like this. And people don't mean to do it because they're sometimes over here, right? When it gets down to here, you get some really good content that the audience might want to actually learn and listen to. The problem is our attention span is so short right now that you have to be very, very clear at the beginning of it and almost give your best stuff first to ensure you're building trust in how the video is structured and, and thing it. So this is a little bit different because we're used to in the business world, when you're running a, a meeting, for example, and you've got a client face-to-face -face or you're giving a presentation, that audience is not gonna go anywhere, right? I mean, they're kind of like, they could get up, but it'd be kind of rude. So you can kind of, you know, let's say you have a two minute pitch, you can slowly build them up and then deliver the content over here. This is a very similar thing 
to a movie. Okay? A movie goes like this. It slowly starts building, starts building right to the climax, and then it kind of pops out over here, right? This is a classical movie that happens over a two hour period. Yes, if you have people that are engaged with you right there and then, or if you got them physically connected, but this is the online world. Online is flipped upside down. And this is where business really struggles with video. And when I look at the videos and I start them, I'm like, oh, they're talking about themselves and they've been in business since 1972. I get it, that's important. And yes, there's value. But at the beginning of it, nobody knows, kind of nobody who you are and they don't have any trust with you. So you have to start building trust and giving them the content, your best stuff away right away and to really capture them and get them in there. So when you talk about the structure and where we're gonna talk about the, the creating the content and what I call the bullet points of how exactly what I talk about, um, this is why it's so crucial to do that. Talk about the best stuff, you know, first right up front and see if you can engage them and keep feeding them the content. Because don't forget too, two or three minute video, you're not gonna just create one video. It's not one video that you're gonna put on your website and then it's gonna bring you millions of visitors and sales. No, you're gonna to need to create hundreds of pieces of video content. But it's all designed around this mindset of a snackability, you know, that attention span that we all kind of have ADD. I certainly have a ton of it um, to really capture them and get to the point, all right? So let's recap here. Number one thing that you need to make a great video is content. Content and content alignment with your audience. We're gonna talk a lot about that, even just on, from a physical perspective of how to actually shoot videos, but content is gonna be the king one. If you have social snippets, now listen, every single video can go with social. Even long form content, even training content can be uh, for social videos. But if you're looking for social snippets, they're usually around that 15 to 30 second mark. They're like kind of mini little commercials. For the sales, you know, the email stuff, this is majority of what people do in any business that you should be focused on. It's around that two to three minute mark. And if it's a training, more training content, it's that five to eight minute piece of segments. All right, let's get Rogan. Rogan, let me try that again. Let's off to the next one.